Diana is also one of our missionaries. She goes to so many places I can't even tell. I don't think her parents do. And you know, I, I, I'm just uh, I um, I admire you know uh, Janet and Pastor Romy for allowing their kids to set out on a mission trip. You know? I'm scared to get to have to seen across the street. <laughs> and here they are there, you know, in the mission field out in different parts of the world. Can you tell us what's going on in the mission field, Brianna? Sure. Um, yeah. So as most of you know, I've been there for almost five years now. So I'm based in Hong Kong. And um, this year I will start like a training program in August. Um, so I'll be leading that um, and training others to do that. And so we're, I'm still figuring out where we're going, but we'll probably go to like India and Nepal and Thailand, um, possibly like Myanmar, Bangladesh, kind of all over Asia, just wherever people need to hear the gospel. And what's really cool is that I've been going to Nepal for like many years now and working with the same like, pastors and people in different villages. And um, through our outreach teams, they got the idea to train young leaders in those places to share the gospel. And that's like part of my heart and like my long-term vision of like training young people in um, villages and in remote places that they would be able to go out and share the gospel and advance the kingdom of God the same way that I have been blessed to. So um, he's been, for the past couple years, he's been running these like Bible schools for people from really, really, really remote villages. They come to like the capital of Nepal and we share with them like how to do evangelism and we take them out and do evangelism with them and they see like God move and they see like the Holy Spirit speak to them and like give them words of knowledge and words of wisdom and we pray for people and they're healed and People come and they want to believe in Jesus and they get hooked up with churches. And then these young people are able to go back to their villages that, like, you have to walk days and days and days up in the mountains to get to. And they're able to share with the people who live there. And I'm just so, like, blessed to be able to be a part of that because I can really see, like, we all need each other to advance the kingdom of God. Like, God made us as a family and as a body of Christ. And so God uses us all in different ways, but all together to see his plan for the world, to see, you know, that redemption of the earth, that all the peoples of the world would know him and would call on his name and be saved. And that's why Jesus came. And so that's why we're all here and we all get to work together. Like, you guys do all your prayers and support for me and my sister, like, you're a part of what's happening. And, you know, I'm able to work with more people and more pastors in other countries and see even more. Like, we're all a part of it, and we're all called to be a part of it. And so I'm just blessed to be there. You guys are a wonderful family that I can come home to, and I really always enjoy coming home and seeing you guys. And you're all so encouraging. So thank you so much.